So I've sewn one of uh, my leg hems here. We're doing a two centimetre hem and uh, it's quite a tight little circle. Uh, when you're sewing on the inside of a circle it's always best to have the um, to be sewing on the inside of the circle and the cover stitch machine it does the two rows of straight stitching on the top so we actually have to um, turn the leg inside out. I'm going to turn the other leg inside out. So that I have the right side of the fabric on the inside. You start at the inner leg seam. Put a couple of pins in just to help you. So pin up two centimetres at the seam and about halfway around. And then we're going to, starting at the seam, we can use this guide. The guide's been set to two centimetres, so you can have the edge of your work against the guide. And then the needle should stitch at two centimetres away. It's important not to stretch the fabric as you're going, so try and keep it quite flat. And don't pull on it this way. Just do little sections at a time and then move the fabric around. Okay, you won't be able to do this all in one go in a hurry. You'll have to do little sections at a time. I think that if you pull on the fabric too and stretch the fabric, you'll actually make the hem allowance smaller as you stretch it. Um, so that's a, another reason why you don't stretch it as you sew. And you don't want it to go all wavy and wonky, which would happen if you stretched it as well. So keep it quite flat. When you get to the end, there's no reverse stitch on a uh, cover stitch machine. So you're just going to sew over the top of the previous stitching for about two centimetres. And there you have your finished seam. And then on the inside, you can see that the looper has um, done the looper stitch over the inside of it. So it's sort of like an overlocking and a sewing in one. Mm. Um, the main thing with that is to make sure that you don't run off the edge of the fabric so if you've got you know a millimeter or two millimeter of extra fabric on the edge that's fine um, you can leave that yeah and if you pulled on the fabric and stretched it the hem would go smaller and that's when you would run off the edge yeah so that's that's um, that finish then the last thing to do is to sew the uh, waist elastic down so we're just going to start at um, our starting point was where the elastic was lapped over on the side. This is much easier because you can just fold the garment over the edge of the elastic. Just make sure that you're keeping it hard up against the edge of the elastic. And you should be able to just run that along the guide making sure that your seam allowances are facing the right way as you come up to them. Try not to pull or stretch the fabric so you're just stretching this way the fabric. as you go. Just mm. stretching the elastic enough to um, to match the length of the fabric. Which it, it's, I'm not really having to stretch it at all. It's actually quite a flat fit. Right, because it's actually been stretched a little bit from the original overlocking. And then I've just run over the end for a couple of centimetres. So that's our legging finished. Very easy to make these. And that's our waist seam done. Done.